so in one of my videos I got a couple of requests to show you guys kind of my nail routine and although I don't really do anything fancy I had to do a nail polish change anyway so I thought I would film it and show you guys the products I use and my techniques if you can call it that so if you are interested in seeing how I do my own manis then keep watching so these are my nails. I'm always kind of self-conscious about my hands. I feel like my fingers are very chubby and I don't know, my nails are kind of short and stubby. But as you can see, I am due for a nail polish revamp. So today I'm going to show you guys what I use. So let's start with how I actually store the things I need to do my nails. So I've already chosen what kind of nail polish I want to wear today. This is the polish I actually have on my nails right now. It's the Victoria Beckham and Nails Ink Color in Bamboo White. I also have a couple of nail oils or cuticle oils here. So we have the Butter London Handbag Holiday Cuticle Oil and then the Apricot Oil from Essie. This is a gel couture top coat and then the base coat is Quo by Orly in all-in-one. They have a couple of them, but this one is my preferred one. And then as for tools, I have a nail file, just your basic nail file art. I have one of these buffing blocks. I have two nail clippers. So one is just the large one if I'm doing a pedi and then the shorter one for when I am doing my fingernails. And then I also have this cuticle trimmer, which I also rarely ever use. I also have some cotton buds for removing nail polish. And then I have this little, kind of looks like a little toolbox, but I use it to store everything in. It's from Umbra. Okay, step one is to remove my nail polish. So I'm currently just using this um, strengthening nail polish remover from the Up and Up brand. So it's from Target, it's currently unavailable in Canada, but it's just a really simple nail polish remover, nothing really special. I'm actually almost out of this. I just remove all of the nail polish that I currently have on my nails. So once my nails are completely clean, I will just give them a quick once over just to see where I need to focus a little bit more attention. So sometimes I get a bit of chipping on my nails, in which case I will take my buffing block and I typically just do the first two, so even and smooth and sometimes buff. I rarely do shine unless I'm not going to be putting nail polish on. And then I'll also trim my nails a little bit I don't really do any fancy trimming. I basically just do kind of like a rounded edge and then I will file them if necessary. So once I have my nails ready, I will actually take a cuticle oil. I'll either take the Essie Apricot Oil or the Butter London. I will use the Butter London one just because I've always used the Essie one. So I will take this and lather it all over my nail and also my cuticle. I'll just massage that into my nail for a couple seconds. So I'll usually wait a couple of minutes, just letting that soak into my cuticles before I move on to the next step. So after a couple of minutes, I'll take this nail cleaner, I forgot to mention this earlier, and apply that to my nails. And then I will just take a little piece of a cotton ball and drag it on my nails. I don't really do anything with my cuticles because my cuticles are typically pushed back naturally. So I don't really have to take the extra step to do that. So the nail polish I'm going to use today is the Treat Love and Color um, in Glowing Strong. I normally wouldn't use a top coat and a base coat with this, but uh, for the purposes of this video, I will because I don't actually have any other nail polish that's in this color. So my first step is to use a base coat. So this is the Quo by Orly all in one. Just applying a thin layer. Okay, after a couple minutes, I will take the nail color. Just waiting for my nails to dry.
So that's it, there you have it. Um, I will let my nails dry and then sometimes I will add a little bit more cuticle oil afterwards. So that is my DIY manicure slash nail routine. You guys have to let me know what your tips and tricks are. If you have any, what you do the same and maybe what you do differently, I'd love to hear it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see any other videos from me, you can leave a comment below because I always try to keep a tally of all of the ones that you guys request. And I'm slowly getting through the list. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.